All right, so welcome to Fix 210. Uh, this will probably be the first week of classes, and we want to go with the syllabus online because for whatever reason, um, uh, uh, we are going to be online for the first week. All right, so um, let me just turn off my camera, turn this thing on. All right, and uh, where we're going to right now is you're going to Canvas, and let's go over the syllabus. So that's basically right here. All right, you can download this thing, and let's go through it. All right, so um, let's zoom this in. So in case those of you who have a hard time seeing it, uh, you'll be able to read it a little easier. This is about the best you can do. Uh, so this is Physics 210. Uh, I am your instructor, uh, Philip Chang. Uh, here's my office. It's the Kenwood Inter display Research Center in the 4180. All right. uh, the normal location for lectures will be Physics 133, and lectures take place 9.30 to 10.45 on Monday, Wednesday. Um, for those of you who are nervous about coming into class, uh, lectures will be posted every week online. All right. uh, this will be the special online version of Physics 210. And I'll cover the same amount of material uh, as we do in class. And I might do it faster. Typically, uh, each uh, video lecture is about an hour 40, hour 30, hour 40 minutes, all right? Uh, and that covers basically uh, two classes, all right? Uh, or basically one week, okay? Uh, so that will be posted uh, online every week, right? Uh, here are my office hours on Monday, basically 11 a.m., right after class. Right. Um, okay, so uh, so let's go look at some other stuff. So there's some instructions on how to access the class website on Canvas. All right, uh, we have to basically use Canvas to download problem sets um, and possibly upload problem sets as you would like. Okay, the textbook we're using is Physics of Science Engineers Volume Two, but which is available in the bookstore. But any physics textbook with calculus will work, right? So, I mean, if you want to get one for, used from Amazon, go ahead. It, the, physics um, has been studied this way for well over 150 years, and so basically getting the latest, greatest book will not make that much of a difference in this class, right? You will be required to have access to the internet, especially in these times, to basically get your problem set, access multimedia, and receive updates from me, myself, right? And the prerequisite uh, for this class is the grade of C minus or better in physics 209, uh, math 229, or, or math 233. Okay. These are co-requisites, so I just got to take it at the same time as basically this class, right? This one's a prerequisite, so hopefully you've taken physics uh, 209 by this point. Okay, uh, here's the discussion sections, all right? Uh, for the first week, again, they will also be online, all right? Uh, and this should be physics 401. I'll fix that in a little bit. All right. Anyway, so here's the discussion sections. Basically, they're going to be Tuesday, Thursday at 8, then 9.30, then 11, then 12.30. Here are your TAs. Adil Amin will TA three of the classes, and then Shabbat Sharma will TA the last class. All right. The TAs will conduct the discussion section. They will handle their own syllabus at the beginning of their section, which unfortunately will be online this time. Okay. Uh, the Physics 215 lab is separate from this course, it is graded independently and managed independently as well. If you want to help with administrative issues with Physics 215, uh, please ask Dr. Ian L. Papa. He's the uh, person in charge. Here's an email, papa at uwm.edu. I do not know anything about the Physics 215 lab, so if you ask me, I will just send you to uh, Ian L. Papa. Okay. Now, you don't have to enroll in the lab to enroll in 210, all right? Uh, whether or not you take the lab is your decision and up to basically what your major requires, right? So as your instructor for Physics 210, I cannot tell you whether or not your program or your major requires you to take the lab, uh, but if you're a physics major, I can tell you that as a physics major, you must take the lab to satisfy the requirement of the physics major, right? Uh, please bring a simple scientific calculator with you, okay? Just generally a good idea. Definitely for exams, by far for exams, right? But like, you can bring it with a lecture and discussion as well. Normally you don't need much, and a lot of times you won't need it anyway, so. But it's fine to have it with you, okay? Uh, we do have extra spare calculators if you forget yours, basically at home, but as the 
problem with basically spare calculators. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, and a lot of times you've never used it before, and so you may not know how to use it. So definitely bring a calculator with you because that's just basically good stuff. All right. Okay, so how hard is this class? So for those of you who've taken 209 with me, I basically began the preamble last time. So this is not an easy mathematical course. You have to be familiar with some basic algebra, al arithmetic and trigonometry, and some calculus as well, right? So if you have problems with math, basically you should drop now. Now I can also tell you that compared to physics 209, the level of calculus and mathematics will be higher in this class, right? This is um, a problem where, this is a class where you will handle problems using only algebraic variables and use extensive use of calculus. So this is a bit more, a uh, bit more mathematically intense than physics 209, but I think it's also mathematically a lot more beautiful as well, okay? Here's the estimate of workload. The weekly average is about 12 hours, um, basically three hours of class, rest two hours of discussion, and then the rest is spent doing homework or re-studying and whatnot, right? Um, your mileage may vary. Some of you will do much quicker. Some of you do a lot more, okay? Um, uh, you should also know basically when you need to drop your class, all right? I will not support appeals if you forget to drop your classes. Um, you will see basically when, you have to look at when the dates are, and that's up to you to dis discuss, all right? Okay, uh, and if you fail your class because you didn't show up to class, I am basically I'm instructed to report uh, people who don't show up to the class to the financial aid office. It's basically because if you take student loans out and you don't show up to class, that's a problem for um, your student loans, right? Uh, problem sets will give over Canvas once a week. I believe there'll be 11 problem sets and the best eight promises we use for your grade, right? Uh, problem sets will be completed by the end date indicated. Right. Uh, then we post it every Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. But it's by midnight. And they are due, I should, online, all right? They have to do online uh, on the due date in class by 9.30 a.m. So if you bring a class, you can submit at the end of the class. I should clean up this language. I'll clean up in a second, right? If you submit online, please upload it on the canvas, right? Uh, late promises who will lose basically a lot of points. So don't turn them in late. Okay, uh, problem sets must show all necessary work. If you don't show your work, basically you get no credit, right? That's just life, unfortunately. There are no makeups for problem sets. You're welcome to work with other students, right? But you must turn in your own written up solutions, right? So you can't, do not cheat or plagiarize because that will result in automatic failure. I've basically done this to a number of students in the not too distant past, right? Uh, problem sets returned in person. It's not online. It's basically it's like I need to clean up the verbiage in this um, syllabus. So look at the syllabus again. Basically, once um, I have cleaned it up. Okay. Uh, problem sets return basically uh, in person uh, unless you submit online, which basically the grade you'll be seeing it back online. All right. Uh, two exams will be given. All right. Um, there's no makeup exams. There's no drop make exams. Right. So two exams straight up, and that's it. Okay. Uh, final exam will be cumulative for all materials in the course. The reason why there's only two exams is that each class is an hour and a half, and so I cannot basically do three exams. That's four and a half hours of lost class time. Right? Okay, there will be review material covering all possible question types on the exam pulls the campus to help you study, and the final exam is cumulative, so it basically includes everything. Okay. Um, extra credit, extra credit will be embedded in the exams and final. The exam and the final will be worth over 100 points, but 100 points is the maximum score for a perfect score, so scores above this 100 points will be treated as a bonus, right? Okay, um, at, for those of you who took Physics 209 with me, you're probably are familiar that I post video tutorials for a number of problems. Basically, it's helped you to struggle with some of the less obvious aspects of problem sets and the class, right? So it builds on what you do in the discussion and but with different problems, so you can see basically solutions solved again and again, and that hopefully will help you basically learn how to solve uh, physics problems on your own, right? So they'll be posted on Canvas, but you can also go to the aggregate page right here, www.physicstips.org. If you go there, let's take a look. Looks like this, all right? You're looking at e and m and these are basically all the problem sets that all the all the different Exam, uh, all the different examples I will go through. Okay. Uh, here's grading. Grading will be basically 35% problem sets, 
the exam will be 30% and final will be 35%. Extra credit on exam final. And here's the scale, right? So above an A is basically 93, all right? Um, and A minus is this and B is that. Typically, uh, in the past, I've gotten um, most students have scored between a B plus A minus. The median score is about a B plus or so, okay? High B plus, all right? So a fair number of fraction, fair fraction of people end up getting A minuses and A's in this class. Okay, um, so here's some policies. Feel free to work study other students, but submit your own work. Please feel free to ask questions in class or during office hours. If you have disabilities, make arrangements through the Accessible Resource Center, okay? And contact me as soon as possible. I will reserve the right to modify syllabus. I will modify syllabus to clean up some of the, uh, the uh, verbiage in this, in this uh, syllabus. And any concerns about your attendance, quizzes, and assignments should be brought to my team within two weeks of the final, week, final grade being posted, or the issue may not be addressed, right? Here's exam schedule. The first exam will be, oh wait, why is this Thursday? Hold on, that's, that's wrong. Let me just check the date. I believe that's actually Wednesday. Let me just check real quick. Uh, 3, 2022. That's sorry, that's actually should be Wednesday. It's Wednesday, March 16th. The date is right, day is wrong. And second exam is, Wednesday, May 4th, 2022, okay? All right, and this is all the verbiage about how to access Canvas and whatnot, right? Okay, so this is basically what you're gonna see on um, Canvas, all right? So the first video lecture has been posted, all right? Let's take a look at that. I will post this video as well um, online in just a second. Here's the first problem set, all right? Download here, look at it. You can see that it is due February 2nd, all right? And there are basically several ways of submitting it. So one, you can submit online, or the second way you can submit it is you can submit it basically to start assignment and then upload your file through here, okay? Um, uh, I will discuss how to upload the files in a second of, of, of how to do this, right? Okay. Uh, and that's it for basically understanding what's in the syllabus.